Hi guys, welcome back to the Treadstar Agribiz channel. My name is Christine. For all the food lovers who are interested in fresh quality products for your next recipe or for your kitchen garden, I will be showing you our herbs and vegetable plants that we have for sale in Thika and in Longonot in Kenya. Currently, we have the following plants for sale. Strawberry plants, eggplants, hot chili peppers, grapes, dill, thyme, chives, basil, coriander, rosemary, and spearmint. Our herbs and vegetable plants that we have for sale are planted in biodegradable bugs to keep them healthy and fresh, like how you would grow them in your garden. In fact, you can plant this in your garden or in a larger pot to grow them into even bigger plants. Let me show you how they look like, how much they cost, and what you can use them for. Strawberry plants. The strawberry plants come in a 6 by 9 inch size bag made up of 70% red soil and 30% well composited cow manure. Don't worry, it doesn't have any unpleasant smell. The plant is an average of 8 to 12 weeks old and should already carry blossoms and some unripe fruits when you purchase them. The variety we have is the Chandler. All you have to do is to water them about three times per week and pick the strawberries when they are fully ripe. The plant should give about two to three harvests a year and you can replant any small runners that you see growing on the plant. The plant will become two to three years old when properly cared for. Put them outside in your balcony, patio or garden and water them in the morning or in the evening. With strawberries, you can make delicious smoothies with yogurt by combining in a blender your strawberries, milk, yogurt, sugar and vanilla. Toss in your ice in your proportions, blend until smooth and creamy or you can cut them into slices and top your cake or dessert. Eggplant. Did you know that eggplants are called egg because of their shape? More of a goose egg shape. Our eggplants are at least eight weeks old and already flowering and having developed small fruits. Eggplant is a one season plant. They come packaged in a nine by 15 size bag with red soil and composite manure, containing one large plant a bag. Eggplants can grow up to 150 centimeters tall. You can replant the bag in a big pot or in your garden for maximum growth. Once it starts becoming heavy with fruit, you have to support it using a trellising twine. Our eggplants only need watering for maintenance and then wait for your harvest. What can you do with these goose egg shaped fruits? Simple, it can be baked, roasted, fried, or even grilled. To bake, cut two eggplants in half, and then cut deep diagonal lines from one side to the other and cut the other way to intersect. Sprinkle salt, allow them to drain water for 30 minutes. Dip them in olive oil and line with the foil and bake them. You can also bake them and sprinkle some cheese and olive oil. Absolutely delicious. It goes well with rice, potato or pasture. It's such a versatile vegetable everybody loves. But make sure you do not undercook it because it leaves a bitter taste. Basil. Whether you pronounce this herb as basil or basil, this is the most well-known herb of all the herbs. Its name is a kingly plant. I hope you're preparing to get this kingly plant. Basil is the one season plant that grows 30 to 60 centimeters tall. The one we're selling to you 
comes packaged in a 7 by 12 bag containing a maximum of two plants in each bag. It can be used in garnishing fresh tomato basil, pasta, and in making soups like tomato basil soup by simply adding tomatoes, garlic, onion, basil, salt, pepper, heavy cream, and vegetable or chicken broth to your pot and cooking for two hours. After that, blend until smooth, add your butter and cheese, cook for 30 minutes, and then garnish with basil. Also, it goes well with pasta preparation with roasted bread, recipe 2. Deal. This herb was believed to have an effect on bringing happiness and good fortune. Not sure how that really worked, or maybe it's because of its fragrance. What hard to try though? For deal, both the leaves, also known as the wheat, are used as a herb and the seeds as a spice. So you get one for two. That is a herb and a spice. It completes its life cycle in two months, but can be available all year with regular top trimmings, mostly what we call harvesting. We package our deal in a 7 by 12 inch bag containing 5 to 10 plants in a mixture of composite manure and red soil. Maintaining the plants requires little or no work at all, just a few basics. Since they are already in a bag, just position them in an area where they get sunlight, of like most of the herbs that we are selling to you, and water either in the morning or in the evening. Dill pairs well in making salads like the avocado, red onion, cucumber dill salad by slicing one cucumber, onion, dill and garlic cloves. Placing them in a mixing bowl and adding one teaspoonful of sugar and a bit of salt and tossing. Slice the avocado too and gently toss with the cucumber mixture. Refrigerate for 10 minutes, then remove the garlic and you serve. Also comes in handy while garnishing marinated barbecue. Thyme. Thyme was a herb that symbolized courage. The plant is a perennial shrub with a fine woody base and square stems. It reaches about 15 to 30 centimeters in length. We package our thyme in a 7 by 12 inch bag containing 20 plants, which mature to spread out, all in a mixture of composite manure and red soil. For harvesting, always pick when needed which can be done all year round. If you want to dry them, harvest when they start to bloom to be able to retain the flavor and the scent. After it's done flowering, always trim it to promote new growth. Just to mention but a few of the benefits of thyme, it includes garnishing and cooking easy pan roasted chicken breast. By cooking the chicken in butter, add lots of fresh thyme when it's golden brown, flip and add butter and thyme. Spoon the butter on top of the chicken to keep it moist. When ready, serve. Also, it's used in making lemon and thyme potato salad. Recipe as shown too. Fun fact, it's also used in flavoring herbal liquor, chives. Chives is a well-known member of the onion family. They happen to be the meekest of all the onions. They're the easiest to grow of the fresh herbs used. This herb has a hollow, thin grass stem that grows in clumps. The chai plants we sell are planted in a 6x9 bag and are 25 plants in the bag, thus making the clumps bigger and larger to your advantage as a buyer. To harvest for consumption, Snip the grass-like stem close to the ground, not from the top. The good thing about chives, unlike other herbs, is that they can be stored for several days. 
Not to brag about chives, but they're very tasty when combined with cream cheese and scrambled eggs. By making two large eggs, two teaspoonful of fresh mint, two teaspoonful of unsalted butter, cooking them in low heat, garnish with chives. It is also found in commercial whipped cream cheese and also in making tomato, red onion, chive salads. It is also it's also used in garnishing chicken and mashed potatoes and roasted carrots. And is believed to be one of the oldest herbs used today. It gets its name from a bug called the stink bug. It is also known as cleantro or Chinese parsley. It can reach up to 20 inches in height. Our coriander is packaged in a 7 by 12 inch bag containing 10 plants in a mixture of composite manure and red soil. It can be used to enhance a multitude of dishes, among them being coriander rice by Soaking 300 grams of rice in water and rinsing it before cooking. Cut the onion, carrot, green pepper and coriander. Grind 35 grams coriander leaves, cook your rice as normal and add the ground coriander. It also pairs well with baked chicken dressed with coriander sauce. Hot chili peppers. We all know our peppers to be hot. Did you know the choking effect on pepper fruits is actually the plant's defense mechanism to prevent us from eating it? Yet, it's one of the main reasons why we actually eat it. Getting fresh pepper when you need it at the comfort of your home is what we are looking to achieve. The hot chili plants we sell to you are from 8 weeks from transplanting to blossoming and fruiting age, depending on the age you want them in. We package each in, an, in a 9 by 15 bag with composite manure and red soil, making it easy for you to either continue growing it in the bag or transfer it to your garden or balcony pot. For maintenance, Ensure to water once a day on normal days, but on cold days, thrice a week will just be enough. Hot chili peppers pair well with marinated barbecue chicken piri piri. It also pairs well with tomato onion salad. Grapes. How many colors of grapes do you know? There is white, red, black, green, purple and golden. Grape plants we have for sale are the ones that produce black grapes with a red tint, the ones used in making red wines. Although we sell them at a very young age of 12 weeks and above, this allows you to easily transplant them to your garden and farm. It also helps you get the experience of growing the grape plants from a young plant to a mature grape producing plant. For grapes, you do not allow them to mature in the bag we sell them to you. That is the 6 by 9 inch bag for one. So you must transplant them in your garden for they grow to be very large plants. Do you know you can make a meal with grapes? Try making stuffed grape leaves with meat. Magnificent! Rosemary. In ancient Egyptian, rosemary was considered sacred. One major stunning quality of rosemary is that it is drought resistant and overwatering is its number one enemy. Rosemary is an evergreen woody herb with spiky looking green leaves. Our rosemary herbs comes packaged in a 7 by 12 inch bag with about 8 to 15 plants planted in a mixture of composite manure and red soil. Maintaining it is just watering but way less often than the plants in bags we are selling to you. One more thing about rosemary, you can also propagate using cuttings since it's a woody herb. Being an all year round plant, you can harvest all year. 
As long as you don't over harvest each time, that is, you do not harvest more than half the produce. It is normally used in seasoning and for stuffing meats. In 2013, it was officially proven that helps the brain with remembering and clarity due to the smell of the essential oil. Who wouldn't want clarity in a foggy world? Spearmint. Mint, being one of the most used bread fresheners, is quite a familiar herb. It's a perennial plant that grows by underground rhizomes and can reach up to 30 to 100 centimeters tall. The spearmint plant we are selling from our farm comes packaged in a 7 by 12 inch bag containing 10 plants in a mixture of composite manure and red soil. Mint's signature scent is given by menthol. It's an all year round plant that really thrives in containers and bugs and loves lots of water. Therefore, every morning and night for better growth maintenance. Apart from bread fresheners, it pairs well with chicken and lamb and so goes perfectly with your favorite fruit and desserts. It has a calming effect when used in teas. To sum it all up, among the reasons you should buy from us is that our herbs and plants are purely organic and chemical free. Last but not the least, they are all packaged and grown in biodegradable bags, thus minimizing plant damage and growth since it imitates the ground and makes it easy for you to transplant in your garden, larger pot or partial. If you're a reseller or a large consumer like a restaurant, catering or hotel, please contact us for volume discounts and reservations. If you have special requirements for which type of plant, quantity and price you need, we would love to get in touch with you to discuss if you are able to supply your needs. To place an order, you can give us a call through 0707677495 or 0700494900. You can also reach us via email at agribiz.tradestar at gmail.com or visit our website at agriculture.tradestar.co.ke Note, we talk both English and Swahili. Before I leave, I would really like to know what you think about this video, what additional information you would like to know about hubs, any question you might have, let's meet in the comment section. For now, thank you so much for watching our YouTube channel. Ensure to hit that like and subscribe button for this and more amazing products. Please come back to our channel to watch more videos from what we produce and sell at our farm.